goaltender is the last line of defense and a very important position on the team. I would like to tell you a few of the requirements that are necessary if you would like to improve your ability as a goaltender. They are skating, agility, shooting, the use of your hand and stick, and the skates. Skating is important to a goaltender. We must be able to skate as well as our forwards and defensemen. A goaltender is required at times to move quickly out of a goal area in clearing the puck and must be fast and sure on the skates to get back into position. Many hours of hard skating doing stops and starts, skating forwards and backwards, making sharp turns at different speeds will help to improve this part of your game. All this practice should be done with your full equipment on. Agility in moving from post to post to cover shots. To be able to regain his feet quickly after falling down is very necessary. Some of the exercises to improve yourself are dropping 20 pucks on the right circle and 20 on the left circle, then having two players shoot the pucks alternately at the net. These shots should be taken in rapid fire. This forces a goalie to move from one side of the net to the other side quickly. This helps to sharpen your reflexes and also keeps you on your feet in making these stops. I also suggest you do 25 sit-ups, 25 knee bends, 25 push-ups. In addition, do a lot of running, swimming, and skipping. These are a great help in developing your legs and your wind. Keeping yourself in top playing condition is important. A goalie should give considerable time to developing a good shot. This is often overlooked, but certainly is very important. Often a goaltender can start a breakaway by quickly shooting the puck to the open teammate. If this opportunity does not arise, the only alternative for a goalie is to clear the puck to the corner or behind the net. I would suggest you practice shooting against the boards every day until you develop a hard shot. By doing this exercise it helps you to develop strong hands and wrists so that you can maneuver your stick quickly and efficiently. A goaltender must be skillful in the use of his hands. They are the goalie's best weapon. With them he can cover the most territory in the shortest period of time. Therefore, he should do everything possible to increase the efficiency with which he uses them. A good way to develop the catching hand is playing baseball. This is one method I find very helpful. After a team practice, I have one of my teammates with a good hard shot take 30 to 40 shots at me using my catching hand only. Then have a player take shots on my stick hand to deflect shots in the corner by maneuvering my stick. By doing this, it avoids rebounds in front of the net. The use of your stick is a very important one. This is a quality that is usually overlooked by the young goalie. Your stick is used in clearing the puck, blocking shots, poke checking, and shooting. I use my stick often to poke check and sweep check. And using both of these, I find I have an advantage on other goalies. The only time you can use a poke check is when the opposing player is skating in on your stick side. As he comes within your reach, you dive forward, the blade of your stick flat on the ice and poke the puck from his stick. In doing this, you have taken the puck off his stick and the player out of shooting position. The sweep check works on the opposite side. In other words, the opponent must be coming in on my left side, cutting in towards the center of the net. I move out on my left foot, going down on my right knee, sweeping my stick out to hook the puck off his stick in one movement. When doing this, the stick must be turned flat on the ice. Both of these plays require split-second timing. Now I would like to mention here that one of the most vital requirements of a goalie is keen eyesight. At all times, a goalie must keep his eye on the puck. Never should a goalie lose sight of the puck, although at times I know this does happen and it usually occurs during the scramble around the net. However, the harder you work at following the puck, the fewer times you will lose it. There are times when a goalie can use the skates to block a shot, particularly a shot on the ice. I find when a forward comes in off the right wing and shoots a hard shot along the ice at the far corner of the net that I cannot stop with my stick, I have to stop it by deflecting it with the blade of my right skate. A lot of diligent practice of this maneuver is necessary to achieve good timing. To know how to play an angle shot makes your job a lot easier. My defenseman must force the puck carrier to go to the outside. Then I skate out past the edge of my goal crease. By doing this, his target area would become smaller and therefore more difficult to score. Remember, while doing this, you must try and keep your pads closed. Also, keep your body as close to the goalpost as possible so the player does not pick the short side. In mentioning the penalty shot, I can only stress one vital point. 
Let the player skating in on you make the first move. Take up a position about a foot out in the center of the goal crease and keep your eye on the puck, not the body. Many goals are scored from rebounds during pressure plays around the goal. To control the rebound as much as possible, use your hands either to catch a puck or to trap it against your body or pads. Anytime there seems to be danger of a rebound being poked in by an opponent, the goalie should not attempt to clear the puck but smother it. Another point to remember on rebounds is to stand up as you have a better chance of getting the second shot. Screenshots are very difficult for a goaltender to handle. I feel the best way to handle this shot is to crouch low, moving from side to side and trying to find the puck by looking between the player's legs. Failing this, a goalie relies on his defenseman to block the shot. A bouncing puck. A goaltender's nightmare. Great care should be taken with such shots, as the puck usually is twisting in the air and it is quite possible that it will change direction in an unexpected hop. The way to play the shot is to try and reach it before it bounces and if this is not possible then move as close to the puck as you can trying to keep your body in front of the puck. By now you know goaltending is a tough job. This is where courage, desire and confidence comes in. Remember these points. Always keep your eye on the puck. Stay on your feet. Clear the puck quickly and never be discouraged. And may I add a little luck would be appreciated.